Hello YouTube, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we're going to discuss the Excel 2016 exam. We're going to look at the domain called Creating Charts and Objects, which accommodates for about 15-20% to 20 of the overall exam. I'll go ahead and throw a screenshot up of the exam page just so you can see the domain. In this video we're going to discuss inserting and formatting objects. I've already created a video on creating charts and formatting the graphic elements. I'll go ahead and put that link in the description and I'll also put a card up so you can quickly access that. Let's go ahead and jump into Excel. Let's look at inserting and formatting objects. In this section, it tells us that we need to be able to insert text boxes and shapes. We want to go to the Insert tab here at the top, and we'll look at text boxes first. We're in the text group here, and it's this button here that says Text Box. If you look carefully at my cursor, you notice that it's changed. What this cursor does is allows me to click and drag my text box. And then you can go ahead and type in there whatever you need to. You have the option with that selected to go to the Drawing Tools Format tab, and you can make a lot of changes to the shape color, some text effects, different things here. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this because we're going to create a shape and look at these as well. So I'm going to delete this text box. I'm going to go back to the Insert tab here at the top. I'm in the Illustrations group. We're going to go ahead and look at the shapes here. I'm going to click the Shapes drop down. You should be familiar with the shapes you could be asked to put in anything. And if you look at this list, it can be pretty exhaustive to try and find a specific call out called Thought Bubble. You should know these headings here in the shape group, rectangles, basic shapes, block arrows. Often what I've seen on the exams is that they will try and have you find something that is very obscure. You could get something very easy. They are going to try and trip you up by having you find a shape that is just something that you don't often use. So be familiar with these sections. We'll go ahead and just use a rectangle here. With this shape here selected, I have again that Drawing Tools Format tab here at the top where I can do a lot of things. I can edit our shape. You have shape styles here, so maybe I don't like this blue. I'd rather have this green. I could do that easily. You have your shape fill, shape outline, shape effects. And then if you wanted to type, notice I double clicked in here and now I have the ability to type text into that shape. While we're here, we'll look at here the alt text that's under the accessibility. This is something that you're going to see almost guaranteed. This over here looks just a little bit different than the 2016 version of the exam only because I have Office 365 installed on this PC. I'll go ahead and throw a graphic up of what the 2016 alt text box looks like but it's very similar to this. It just has a title and then you have your description, but you need to be able to add alt text to shapes, images, your table. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this. The exam page also tells us that we need to be able to modify object properties. Now we've been making some changes here, but what you wanna be familiar with is opening this dialog box. I usually access the dialog box from here on under size, so I'll click that. On this section, we have shape options and text options. This small little dialog box can be very difficult to navigate through and is often a section of the exam that people struggle with because it's so exhaustive. And so you should be familiar with the shape options and the text options. Here in this section here, this little icon is called size and properties. This little section gives us more than just height and width. We can rotate, we can scale. You have properties such as uh, the ability to uncheck these boxes about printing and locking the text. Of course, we have text box. You have the different alignments here. Be familiar with this. The next section is called effects, and you could be asked to add a glow. So notice it gives me a little glow here. I can change the transparency. We can add some soft edges. We can add shadow, some 3D stuff. Again, this is under the effects, but most likely where you're gonna be is here in the fill in line where you can have no fill, and notice that disappears or maybe it asks you to do a gradient fill. Be familiar with that, or a pattern fill. This can be tricky if you're looking through this because there's a lot here in the pattern section. You might have to dig through this. I wouldn't spend a lot of time memorizing anything in the pattern section, but know that the pattern section's here. Know the difference between the foreground and the background. I can easily just change this from green to blue, and then we can add the background color of black. 
And then your line is the outside edge here. And then you have line sections here that you need to be familiar with. And then over here, you have text effects. So if you wanted to add a glow or soft edge, and then you also have some text box alignment details here. This box is an important part of the exam. You should be familiar with how to access it and just some of the sections within this group. We'll go ahead and delete this. And we'll look at one other thing. It tells us that we need to be able to insert images into our Excel workbook. And so to do that, we just want to go back to the insert tab here at the top. And we have online pictures and pictures. Most likely what you'll probably see is inserting a picture that's already on the hard drive. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and select an image here. You want to just be familiar with not only inserting, but our picture tools format tab here at the top. And you can make some corrections here. Maybe you want to sharpen the image up a little bit. You can add some artistic effects. You have some picture styles, so maybe you want to add that black border. Again, we have our alt text here. You have alignment, crop, height, width, and then you also have, if you click here, just a few more picture format settings. Thank you for watching this video. My hope always as I create new content is that my viewers feel better able to carry out tasks in Microsoft. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you get a notification when I release my next video. Do you have a suggestion on a video that I should make? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you want me to create. That way I can better help you.